Hey, howdy, hey, party people. Real quick, I'm sorry I haven't been streaming much. I can't really get into the details, but I'll be back to streaming soon enough. Also, shout out to the homie Zeft for allowing me to use his gameplay for this. Go check him out on YouTube and Twitch. His links will be in the pinned comment down below. But let's talk about remastered collections real quick. Remastered collections are games in a series that have been revamped and modernized to run and function beautifully and damn near seamlessly on today's modern day systems. The most prevalent cases of this are the Mafia trilogy with all three Mafia games being overhauled damn near completely, the Master Chief collection with its old graphics but you can toggle higher end and more modernized graphics with a single button, and let's not forget about the brain dead cousin of remastered collections, the Grand Theft Auto Remastered Trilogy. I love that companies are doing this because sometimes playing old games on modern equipment can cause issues, especially if they are PC ports, but remasters still hold a classic vibe to them only if they are done right, and I'm happy to say that out of the three I just listed, two out of the three did not outsource the development to a mobile game company and then wonder why the fuck nobody cares about the fucking games they quote unquote remastered. But this remastered collection is going to involve games that shared both ends of the video game spectrum. Those ends being one of the greats to an absolute fucking mistake. And if you couldn't figure it out, we are talking about Gears of War, the remastered collection. Before we dive in, I just want to say that I absolutely love Gears of War. It was actually the second game I ever got on my Xbox 360. The first was Halo 3 because it came with the Xbox that I got on Christmas, but you know, you know whatever. While all of my friends at school were talking about God of War, I looked at them and said fuck Kratos, Marcus Phoenix is better. Gears of War was unlike anything I had played as a kid. Nothing made me feel more like a badass than using Thomas Hewitt tactics on aliens that have really bad dermatitis. So without carrying on any further, let's dive right in. Link to the article I'm reading, including the video where they talk about this on the Xbox Era podcast will be in the description and in the pinned comment as well. And the article reads as is. Nick Baker of the Xbox Era podcast has reported over the weekend that Xbox could have a new collection of Gears of War games in the works for release this year. This would presumably follow the footsteps steps of the Master Chief Collection, a Halo compilation that included everything in the franchise through Halo 4 alongside tons of remastered content. A possible Gears Collection could give the same treatment to Gears of War 2 and 3 and even possibly include the People Can Fly developed spin-off title Gears Judgment. None of these games ever saw a PC release, meaning the collection could also bring the game to new audiences as well. It's unclear if a possible Marcus Phoenix collection would also include either of the Xbox One entries or focus specifically on bringing the Xbox 360 titles up to date. Either way, a collection does make sense since the Coalition has said since 2021 to not expect Gear 6 or anything else from the studio for a long while. To kind of summarize here, this is Nick Baker giving us a cock tea so strong it would give Big Brain Sheen a brain hemorrhage. In all seriousness though, Mike basically said, we may or may not be doing something that may or may not include the possible remasters of multiple Gears of War titles that may or may not release in late 2022. And to name it the Marcus Phoenix collection on top of it, just absolutely fucking perfect. The only thing I worry about is this. Gears 5 was the most recent game in the Gears of War series to come out, and that was just three years ago. It took Gears of War fans three minutes to see that this game was a hunk of shit, and it still holds the title to this very day. And I'm gonna be the first one to admit, I did not play Gears 5. You know why? I seen what happened with GOW Judgment and said, nah, fuck that. I'm not going anywhere near it, and I honestly forgot about it. The Coalition even knows this, they even said it two years after the game came out, don't hold your fucking breath for Gear 6 because you'll suffocate before that's even considered to be a reality. The Coalition took over development after Gears of War 3, and to my surprise, the development team responsible for making one of the best third person shooters of all time was Epic fucking games. This is the same Epic Games that hosts Fortnite on their own launcher. This is also the same Epic Games that gave us the holy grail of shooters. So unfortunately, this could mean that we see the Gears of War Remastered series be an Epic Games exclusive, but that's speculation if I'm being honest. So what are my thoughts? Well, I'm going under the assumption that you guys actually give a Frenchman's fuck about what I have to say, but if you're curious, then I'll tell you. I'm fucking 
hyped. You don't know how fucking crazy it is that there's a new generation of people that never got to discover an actual Gears of War game like Gears of War 1, 2, or 3. These games had an amazing story, tons of violence, and multiplayer lobby sweatier than Steven Asante after he walks two feet. Thinking about playing Gears of War on an updated system with updated graphics is enough to make me fucking cry. I've longed for the day when I could play the first three Gears of War games on 1080p or higher with more than 60 frames. I'm just really worried about how the coalition is going to make this happen. Gears 4 and Gears Judgment is when people started noticing that maybe the series is going downhill with suspicions being confirmed once Gears 5 dropped. I'm afraid that the same irresponsible hands are going to fuck this up, but I'm hoping they can bring Epic back on board to help remaster this collection of games. I believe that more and more companies should do this to popular titles that they have. Destroy All Humans is about to get its second remaster, the aforementioned Mafia and Halo series both had full remasters, so what's really stopping some of these companies out here from making full remasters of beloved series? Is it money? Is it time? Is it because they're fucking lazy? I think it might have to be a combination of all three. While we're on the subject of combinations, a really good combination is smashing that sub button, that like button, and kicking the fuck out of that notification bell. I post content and I stream all the time right here on YouTube. My name is Redbeard Mortis. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, I am fucking out of here.